And now, from his cell on Pennsylvania's death row, a commentary for Mumia Abu-Jamal. Prison House of Nations. With the release of the Pew Center on the State's report, comes news that proves without question that the U.S. is the world's champion when it comes to incarceration rates. Of 100 Americans, there is one adult in prison. According to news reports detailing the Pew Center research, the year 2008 began with 2,319,258 people in U.S. jails and prisons. No other nation can boast such a raw number or per capita rate of incarceration. Not China, which has over four times the U.S. population, nor India, which has three times the population. That's because the U.S. transformed its prisons into a job-making program and a business. The 50 states have spent over $49 billion on its 2007 prisons budget, up from $11 billion spent in the 1987 prisons budget. Over a decade ago, I warned of precisely this outcome in my book, Live from Death Row. That's because we were then in the midst of the incarceration boom due to tougher and tougher sentencing. The so-called drug war has fed this binge. And only now, over a decade after the rash and harsh imprisonment of many, many people, the Sentencing Commission is easing the rules on sentencing for possession of crack cocaine versus powder. Why would the government ease up? It may be because the states are drowning in red ink over burgeoning prison costs. Because decades after the onset of the drug war, in 2005, over 33.6 million Americans over 12 years old used cocaine. As for crack, some 8 million people reported usage of that drug in their lifetime. If we look at U.S. high school seniors, we find an astonishing figure. In 1975, 1.9% of these students reported cocaine use. In 2006, that number was 2.5%. So much for the so-called drug war. For these figures show how, after billions of dollars were spent on prisons, and an incredible number of people were imprisoned in rates that no other nation has yet faced, the rate of drug use has not only not declined, it has increased. Guess who's winning? From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are produced by Noel Hanrahan for Prison Radio.